keep on going on this crazy train ride. Yeah, it looks like Tilly may have the red star for sure. I believe she's going. Uh, I'll hold on to those right here. Oops. That didn't help much. Birdo's out for coins. She's out to tell that. Oh, never mind. Birdo came up short. Oh, that was a pretty short turn. And it's only been a minute. <laughs> right at the top, man. All right, one on three. All team on Toadette. What curtail made this game be? Ah, ah. Thrash and crash. It will be this game. I haven't won in this game. Well, as the uh, as a three player, I haven't won yet. I don't think anyone as a three player won yet in this game. It's already been the one player every single time. Well, for the computer players, I can see that, but uh. For the AI. <laughs> Darn if I can die, Shaq. Birdo? Birdo, watch it. See the arm. It doesn't even hit the arm at all. See right there. Birdo, can, it, can we have our first winner? Birdo, you should have sped up that time. I'm sorry. He, you should have sped up. Dang, I thought we might have had our first win in this game. Ah, <laughs> uh, but nope, not yet. That's the three players, not yet. But one player always has the advantage. I guess I just hesitate on trying not to get hit. I, said, I, I just need to try to go for it, but I try to also, you know, dodge the uh, stuff. Oh, no, Toad, that's safe. And it's got the dirty number. Well, tell that I can respect you for having a reason. For Peach Shell, absolutely not. Okay, no. That's better. Yeah. Second star is mine. Awesome. We're looking good. We're looking good. She had 
she had a bit of a ways to go. She still had a bit of a ways to go, yeah. So yeah, no, no luck for Peach. What a shot. That was the ball you heard. <laughs> Grandmother just was making a cake in her uh, chocolate cake for me. Uh, for us, actually, and uh, gave me the bowl away. That's good, too. No, oh, you traded some candy for a uh, little lady. Um, I actually need some rice candy. If she's willing to take to my twice candy, I'll be acceptable to give it to her.
Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I have a guarantee. <laughs> okay. I say I rolled a six of that. And I, okay, I got it then. Weekly, Katie? Yeah, it's okay. DK! What's up? Three free stars. I had to pay for one yet. I love this really turning around. I like my chances. And don't worry, the computer players are on hard. I did check. Man, yeah, uh, Mr. Grumpy. Yeah, he's just really... He's kind of an uptight person. Actually, I think the uptight one is really, uh... Mr. Persnickety. What's everything... Clean. Really gross or filthy. Oh my gosh. Well, uh, they did change Persinthi's name to, uh, in the next season, they brought more Mr. Min and, Miss, and Little Mrs. Uh, to, uh, Mr. Fussy. I said Mr. Persinthi, they changed his name to uh, Mr. Fussy. Um, next you have is, uh, uh, this one's actually kind of funny, the only way it does is, uh, Mr. Rude. Mr. Rude, uh, it's got a bit of a German accent of a voice, I think, or French. Mean, mean ravine, okay, well, should we find this one? Obviously, well, as in his character, as the name of his character, he is Rude. He'll rarely sometimes like do a a fart noise. He'll make a fart. Like, he'll fart in the show, and everybody will yell out, "Mr. Rude!" <laughs> it's so funny. That's the one thing I like about Mr. Rude. And when everybody yells at Mr. Rude when he farts, that cracks me up. Yeah, you gotta love a good fart, times. Uh, see another character, uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Nervous. He is very, he is one nervous wreck, to be honest. That guy is very nervous. He will think he's on a great adventure, but then the end, like, it, like it's like the end of the world for him, every almost every time. Like, he's typically dreaming all about this, and all, all trying to like, like, come on, like, do something. And, He's like, ah, no, 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 <laughs> Like, oh my gosh, you gotta relax, man. But he plays, the, he plays this part really well. This is a good job on it, no, no joke. And yeah, I noticed we got a new record, so it's uh, 50 milliseconds uh, faster, so yeah, that's awesome. I'll come back to Mr. Min, Mr. Min show in a sec, but I actually want to talk about something real quick. No, actually, you know what? I'll say that for uh, when I do Mario Party 9 LP. Because I was checking the records on there, and my gosh. The 10 particular mini games that had records, oh my gosh, they're amazing. And I'm trying to top those records, and they're tough to beat. But I'll talk more about that uh, when we actually do uh, Mario Party 9. Which will be after I do Mario Party 8, of course. Anyway, uh, I'll get back to my time on the rest of the show. Uh, the next one I want to talk about, next one was, uh, Miss Scary. And no doubt about it, she's got the look for it. Well, she acts the bar pretty scary, using the mask to scare people. Use anything to, to scare the crap out of them. She does go on that part. Oh, hey! Three coins! Sweet. Let's see how much I get. So did, you get three. I got five, okay. Darn, only got seven. I'm gonna have even hundred. Um, uh, let's see. I'm trying to think of the other Mr. Min and Little Mrs. Oh, Mr. Messy. Mr. Messy, I think, is a very cool character. All right, we're gonna have too. Okay, nice. I'm jealous. Yeah, Mr. Messy is just that, well, messy. He leaves his place as a mess. He doesn't like to clean up or, uh, pick a 
in the sub. He likes to leave it as a mess. A filth, a dump. He leaves stuff out of the garbage. Like, like, if he finds, like, a sandwich or a burrito or a pizza, who has sock-filled cheese? Cheese? His socks filled with cheese. Not like, you know, your cheese that you wrap, unwrap, but at the moment, a sandwich, like, really melted, like, filled like cheese. It sounds good, but, yeah, sock though. Ugh, gross. Why don't you read your slow go candy? That's actually a good candy, Peach. I would get rid of the thwomp candy for my sake. I mean, you don't get any coins back from when you use it. Sure, you're not going to weigh half of their coins, but you don't really get any back. That's... Yeah, I would get the slow go candy. No offense. I would. Anyway, that's computer's opinion, not mine. So, moving on. <laughs> There are more. No. You got Mr. Lazy. He just is lazy. You know, trying to like do stuff for like a second and like, ugh, that's too much for me. That's just way too much stuff to do. <laughs> uh <laughs> Mr. Lazy's an okay character. Um next you have is Mr. Funk. He wears bandages on his head and his body. The poor guy gets a crappy album every time. Uh, let's see. Another... Um, another one that would be Mr. Nosy and Mr. Small. I think they're pretty cool characters in my opinion. They're pretty cool, to be honest. I don't really like Mr. Nosy and Mr. Uh, Small. Very kind, cool characters. But Nosy, you know, in the old times, it does come a problem. You know, just be a, just be a nosy and stuff. I can kind of see the point of that. Uh, who else? Who else? Uh, Small, what are you talking about? Um, damn, there, there are a lot more of them. I know that for a fact. I'll think of it, I'll think of it. I'm trying to go through. Oh, yeah, there's a. Uh, I remember now. <laughs> Miss Calamity. She's a, she's a pretty cool. She's a pretty decent character, and something bad will happen, and every time something had bad happens during the time, she keeps saying, What a calamity. <laughs> but she's a pretty cool character, though, I'll say that. Oh, uh, wait, no, no, no. I'll use Weekly. I think I'm closer to Toadette. Oh yeah, we got Miss Stair Devil. She'll do anything to the extreme. Oh, I guess I wasn't closer to that. Whoops. Hey, look at that, all ones. Except I had three stars, not one star. Um, who else? There's more. We're right now, turn 12. Okay, I'll stop here after this. Um, come on, think of something. I do remember someone else. Oh, all right. I fear I remember like three more at least. Sorry, Mr. Strong. Obviously, you know he's a powerhouse. But he'll normally scrub and mess something up. Breaks something real easy. And his, you'll hear most of the time when he says it. Oh, pickles. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't get why it's so funny, but it is pretty funny to hear him say that. Oh yeah, you got, and then you get Mr. Grumpy, uh, seem like, uh, all cro crooked cucumbers. And sometimes you'll hear the cereal, now that's scary. It's kind of like their catchphrase, I'll say most of the time. And Peach! Once again, Pete screwed us. And let's hope our fate is sealed into this. Oh yeah, then you got uh, Miss Whoops. She'll normally say this a lot. Don't worry, I'm a trained professional. 
And with Sir Harry, he goes, whoops. <laughs> oh. Oh, he was stubborn. And my lord, he plays, he plays his part nicely, because he is... Oh, I'm sorry, Berto. My apologies. I'm yapping on. I should be focused on helping you. Dang it. Oh, come on, come on. Opportunity, opportunity. Yes. <laughs> Even though I'm yapping so much. Speaking of which, I remind you of another character I remember from Mr. Man, Mr. Man show. Which I will talk about in the next episode. So I'll see you guys in just a little bit.